because we're stronger than the storm. Hey guys, welcome to episode seven. Uh, we're in the heart of fluke season right now. It's really coming alive. We had some great fishing here off the wall the last couple of days. Uh, Andrea did come up the coast on Friday into uh, early Saturday morning. Uh, we thought that was gonna turn off the fluke fishing, but we had a nice west wind on Saturday. Did real well. We had um, Jeff from uh, New Brunswick, had a nice four and a half pound fluke, 24 inches weighed in. And we had a couple of other three pounders that were uh, also weighed in yesterday. Uh, Chris Driscoll had uh, four really nice keepers, probably in the three, three and a half pound range. Uh, the fluke seem to be biting really well right now on spearing and squid. Uh, although we haven't been able to get many killies this week uh, due to the weather. So hopefully uh, this week they'll start catching the killies again and we'll be able to do that. All right, so uh, the boat report's been pretty good this week up until when the, uh, it started blowing on Friday. Uh, the boats didn't get out late thir on the Thursday afternoon trip and the Friday morning trips. They didn't get out. Uh, the Queen Mary, the Cock Robin were doing pretty well with bluefish everywhere from two pounds up to uh, 10 pounds. We also had some good bluefish action here off the beach. Um, late Friday, believe it or not, during the storm, we had some, uh, some really good bluefish action inside the inlet and up in the pocket on the uh, south side of the inlet. It was pretty much on metal and bucktails. Uh, and some guys were using poppers. They seemed to be getting bigger bluefish in that 10 to 15 pound class. So uh, this week we're going to talk about some new products we just started stocking here at the store from Runoff Lures, all made here in the U.S. Uh, matter of fact, right here in uh, New Jersey and Pennsylvania, uh, we just started packaging the uh, Pro Tubing in three different colors in Flow Green, Flow Yellow, and Flow Red. So if you need replacement tubes for your jigs and stuff, we have them in stock. Uh, we're also doing them in... Um, the already rigged hook tubes replacements. We also have them in three different colors. Um, flow green it seems to be the most popular the last two weeks. Uh, we also started stocking, um, which is also made custom just for our shop, is the uh, Ava Dimple and with a black bucktail on it. Great, great lure for uh, striped bass. Something you guys should definitely try out. We also have them in six ounce for all you guys on the boats. Uh, that seem to have been, we've got a lot of requests for this. So we now have the six, six ounce uh, dimples in stock with a J hook on them. And we're also carrying them in two, four, six, and one and a half ounce. And we also have this one here with a chartreuse bucktail already at the shop, ready to go. So stop on down and uh, you can pick them up. Uh, next week is Father's Day. Uh, so definitely stop down if you guys need gift cards or anything for your dads, please stop by um, We'll be able to get those out to you uh, right away. If you'd like you could also call on the phone or email us um, We can ship them out to you as long as uh, I think we get it by Wednesday, we could probably have them anywhere in the country uh, Before Father's Day so also for Father's Day. Um, we have the whole East Coast hook uh, T-shirt line and uh, fishing apparel coming in uh, Jeremy's been great enough to uh, be delivering that uh, this Monday. Uh, some great shirts, some great hoodies. So stop on by and check them out. And you can also check them out on their website at eastcoasthook.com. Uh, there's also a link on our Facebook page to them. Uh, definitely go up to their Facebook page and like them. So uh, as some of you might have saw our little short video we put together this week of our new sign. Uh, it's finally back up kind of feel some normalcy and uh, some completeness. This was a uh, big sign of hope here this week uh, and uh, stronger than the storm, I guess, right? I also want to thank uh, Chris Stone up at Stone Graphics up in Farmingdale, New Jersey uh, for doing our sign. They did a great job. They got it back to us, uh, turned it around pretty quickly. Um, Chris actually did our original sign 14 years ago, believe it or not and uh, he was able just to do right off the old specs and everything, which was great. And like I said, he did a great job on a new sign. Thank you, Chris. So a little bit about our uh, video episodes that we've been doing. 
we're gonna start doing daily reports directly here from the store we're just gonna shoot maybe like you know three four minute video of what's going on try to give you up to the minute information and fishing reports uh, we're gonna shoot them pretty quick just put them up on YouTube we're not gonna have much editing on them and then we're gonna be doing these feature episodes <clears throat> uh, for probably about every week to two weeks depending on uh, if Mike uh, gets down here every weekend it's a little difficult and you know everybody's so busy with their families this time of year so we're sitting here and who walks up but Jay Testa from Northeast Anglers was down on the beach uh, where were you Jay Island Beach State Park. Island Beach State Park. He had some bluefish this morning, and the wind seemed to shift out of the south and uh, kind of shut down the fishing. So Jay decided to come up to Point Pleasant and uh, walk on the boardwalk with his wife and, and his and his brand new baby. <laughs> so uh, what'd you get him on, Jay? Uh, bottleneck popper. Nice. We pulled up on the beach, and uh, you know, guys were cooler in stripers left and right. There were stripers all over. Uh, gave it a shot with bunker clams, couple hits. Wind changed, tide started going out, threw a bottleneck out there. Like and he third decided cast. to come to Point Pleasant. And, <laughs> yeah, got a bluefish and then decided to come to Point Pleasant and try my luck fluking. So, there you have it. Okay, so I, I, like we said last week and the week before in our past episodes, uh, we really need your likes and your comments on what you guys like to see in the future. Uh, if there's any type of demo, maybe filleting a fish or cooking or something like that, we'd like to uh, get your feedback. So please feel free to email us or give us a call, whatever's easier for you, and give us a shout and let us know what uh, what you'd like to see in future episodes. And again, I'm Mark from Alex's Bait and Tackle. Have a great week. Because we're stronger than the storm.